Hello everyone, my name is Nikki and welcome to episode 2 of Halloween week. So in today's video I will be doing a cosplay and makeup tutorial for the character Coraline. Absolutely love this character and I've wanted to do her makeup for quite a long time so I'm really excited to get started. To begin I'm just doing some normal base makeup trying to smooth out my skin, mainly getting rid of any dark circles, any blemishes, just using some foundation and powder setting that foundation. I don't want the makeup to be too heavy so I'm going quite basic with this and I will also make mainly be focusing on stuff like the contour. Again, it's very simple, easy, quick to do, anyone can do this. As you can see, I also put on this blue wig that I got and the little dragonfly clip in the hair, so that was all ready before I started to film. Next, I'm using that face powder just to set where I applied the foundation. I usually wear normally just concealer or a little bit of foundation, I don't like my makeup to be too heavy. Then I'm giving my face a light dust with the powder. Swiftly following that, we'll be moving on to contouring, so I'm using the Soap and Glory bronzer to contour my face into the shape of Coraline's. She has a rounded face and a slightly pointy chin, so what I'm doing, I'm using that contour powder just to soften up my jawline and then using this other brush here to try and make my chin look a bit more pointy and angled. I'm making sure that my jawline isn't defined and it's just rather soft and you can also see here that there's only a tiny bit of shadowing around the chin. I use a lot of reference photos and I think it's very important to both analyse the features of the character that you will be cosplaying and also get to know your features. For a little extra definition, I'm using this brown eyeshadow to do some nose contour. Caroline has a very thin and pointy nose with a triangular end to it. So what I'm doing here, I'm using this light brown which works very nicely as a contour for me in my skin tone and really thinning out my nose making it look quite dramatic. For that I'm just using a flat brush and then afterwards I will be using a slightly more fluffy rounded brush to then blend out that contour. I don't want it to look too clowny and I don't want it to be too harsh but rather blended looking slightly more natural however really defining that thin nose shape. It's always great to have good reference photos on hand, photos from different angles in different lightings whether the character that you will be dressing up as is a cartoon or a real person. And then adding a little bit of the eyeshadow to the under side of my nose just to try and give it that more triangular shape and I'm also defining my chin a little bit trying to make it look a little bit more pointy with that same colour. I found the bronzers I use as contour wasn't quite as visible and was a bit more of a light contour so I'm going in with that eyeshadow instead to round off my jaw as well as you can see here. Sometimes it's good to use eyeshadow instead of normal contour, eyeshadow does work just as well. So of course after blending that out I will then be working on my nose a little bit using this highlighter and I'm using this smaller brush to just go along the center line of my nose and really make my nose pop and stand out. Following that I'm using this light brown eyeshadow and applying that to my eyelid. Coraline has slightly darker eyelids and just a little bit of that tint of color so I'm trying to replicate that, put it on my eyelid and blend it into my crease as you can see here. Quite light and minimal, not too much, nothing glam just that extra pop of colour. I'll also be bringing that down to the lower lash line and blending that out quite smoothly so it isn't too harsh. And then of course to soften up the look I will be using a very light and pale colour as you can see here and then blending that into my crease as well so the blend is softer. Then using that same lighter brown eyeshadow I'm then going to be drawing on some freckles all over my face because Coraline has a lot of freckles. I did this in a more natural pattern rather than cartoonish and just dotted them all around my cheeks, my nose etc etc where freckles would naturally form. You can do as many or as little little as you want. I quite like the way that this looked and if I was going to do fake freckles this is how I would do them. Then I used a round fluffy brush just to brush them out and make them look softer on the face. Following that then I begin to work on the eyebrows and try and replicate Coraline's eyebrow shape. She does have thin and dramatic brows just like any cartoon character would but I'm trying to blend that shape into my natural brow and then use a brow gel to shape the brows themselves. You can see I mainly 
mainly focusing on the top half of the brow, trying to make it a little bit thicker right at the center and then thin out and make that very dramatic high arch. Then as I mentioned, I'll be using the brow gel to actually shape my brows into that very specific formation. I really love using the brow gel because it sets your brows in place and you can style them in any shape that you want, which is very, very handy, especially if you have thicker brows or just want to give your brows more of a natural defined look. Then afterwards we will be highlighting some extra areas of the face, including the brows, just to define that arch as you can see here. Then we will be doing other parts of the face as you will see. But first I'm going to add some mascara to my eyelashes, really focusing on the upper lashes and trying to make them look dark. Of course you can use false lashes if you'd like. I decided not to, but again it's completely optional and these are just some guidelines on how I did the cosplay and Halloween makeup. Follow that we're then going to be doing the smile. I noticed that Coraline does have quite a wide smile and I wanted to make it look a little bit eerie. So what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a light brown shade and just go in the outer corners of my mouth as you can see that I'm doing and just draw a very small line and then opted to go for a slightly darker shade of brown and just pull them outwards. So when you have a resting face it makes your smile look a lot wider. Then Coraline doesn't have lipstick but I decided to darken up the lips with this rosy nude tone lipstick and it just worked very nicely to add a little bit of extra color. I finished off by highlighting the upper lip and there we go. We have the finished Coraline look. Incredibly quick, simple, easy and one of my favorite looks by far. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give the video a like and subscribe to see more. Press the bell to receive notifications. I will be posting a Halloween makeup tutorial every single day this week. So stay tuned for Halloween week and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye!